wanted to talk with you because you're for a free and open internet. I'm just wondering, what does that mean or what does that even look like? First, we got to create a world where we have much broader, faster access to broadband service. We got to create much greater competition. So I want to see communities have the opportunity to compete against incumbent commercial providers. I want the government to develop the infrastructure, the way we build highways. I want everybody to focus on the problem of getting fast, cheap internet everywhere. And then the second thing we have to do is we make sure that the internet we serve everywhere remains neutral, open, and free. And what that means is the owners of the network aren't in the position to be able to pick and choose what happens on that network. What's your best case scenario in your hippy-dippy version of the internet? What does it look like? My best case scenario is that we have robust infrastructure everywhere, meaning you can at any moment connect to extremely fast internet. And that infrastructure can be privately supplied, it might be publicly supported, but it provides really the analog to the information superhighway. It's the place where everything gets to move as cheaply and as quickly as possible. Worst case scenario. Looks like what we've got right now. Slow, expensive, not a lot of uh, prospect of improvement, um, controlled by relatively small number of companies who have enormous power over the political process. Do you think anyone really needs the internet? I think people really need the internet. We did fine for thousands of years. All of a sudden now we need it? Yeah. But what we also need is the explosion of commercial opportunity and creative opportunity and organizing opportunity that this platform makes possible. It just takes ordinary human activity but makes it so much more powerful in a way that we couldn't do it without the internet.